We must raise the minimum wage. He's right, we must. Actually, minimum wage laws aren't as benevolent as you might think. Ugh, let me guess. You are one of those people who thinks minimum wage increases increase unemployment. Not only does a minimum wage in general reduce employment, it can be argued that it was actually initially developed to do so. In fact, early 20th century socialist thought leader Sidney Webb wrote an article entitled The Economic Theory of a Legal Minimum Wage, in which he described married women, the disabled, and other, quote, invalids, unquote, as parasites who were taking work from able-bodied men. See, it was understood by many early on that minimum wage laws were there to price the less fit out of the marketplace. As a result, minimum wage laws were adopted early on by white racists to push ethnic minorities and immigrants out of the job. A Harvard professor of that era referred approvingly to Australia's minimum wage law as a means to protect the white Australian standard of living from the invidious competition of the colored races, particularly the Chinese. Yep, and in the U.S., before federal minimum wage laws were instituted, black unemployment was actually slightly lower than white unemployment. But unfortunately, that trend reversed. Because whenever the price of a good or service is artificially increased, people buy or use less of that thing. This is why some places increase taxes on things like cigarettes and gasoline, because they want fewer people to buy them. Because if raising the price of gasoline means fewer people buy gas, and raising the price of cigarettes means fewer people buy buy cigarettes. Then raising the price of labor means we've solved poverty and you're a neoliberal bigot for disagreeing with such a policy. I get what he's saying. Minimum wage laws don't always help the way we think they should. When you raise the cost of labor, fewer people will buy it and low-skilled laborers never get the opportunity to improve their skills and living circumstances because no one will hire them. Nonsense! How else are we supposed to help the poor survive when it's so hard to make ends meet? Well, you could stop taking 20% of their income through taxation. Besides that, big businesses make so much money, and they can't even pay their workers? Why not just force them to hire people? Well, because most businesses in this country are small businesses, and no, they can't afford minimum wage increases. And if you shut them down because of that, they never grow to the point where they can afford to pay anyone a full-time salary. I mean, you should understand this. Don't you run a political campaign? How much do you pay your workers? Oh, they're unpaid interns. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, visit fee.org for more educational content. Thanks so much.